got uh, Falcata alfalfa. Falcata alfalfa, you can see the leaves are a little bit smaller. This is early in the season, so they're slightly smaller than that of a traditional sativa type. Uh, Falcatas, for the most part, are utilized in pastures. At Grassland, Oregon, we've transformed this species from being more of a, a pasture forage to something that can be dual purpose. We've been working for a long time to transform Falcata to make it more along the lines of a, a sativa type. Uh, here, this variety we've got, it's a multi-cut. You can easily get three, four, five cuttings. Uh, depending on where your growing is and how long your season is. It's got a different root structure than that of a, a sativa. Typically a sativa you'd have a single uh, crown here and you'd have a taproot going down. Whereas the falcata, what makes it really good is this is a single plant and you can see the, the root, the dirt level is about here. So you've got this very far underground growing point. So from a grazing standpoint, that's what makes it really attractive. It also helps it a lot from a cold hardiness and drought because you're storing a lot of this energy, you know, four to six inches below the soil. So you've got these rhizomes that come off of that main growing point and it can really thicken up a stand. It's self-repairing. Uh, you don't have to worry nearly as much about the thinning of a stand. Uh, just because of this growth habit, but this is something we've been working on now for quite some time and it's going to be coming out here shortly commercially So we're pretty excited about it